Hello everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup version point two seven, the stable version. Well, this is the roguelike game I normally play on Mondays, but I did put a poll out on the YouTube channel, seeing what people were interested in watching, and Dungeon Crawl, the old favorite, happened to win, and here we are playing Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. So, we are trying to work through, at this point, just for a challenge for myself, is to get a win with every single species, and... I still need to get a win with a Spriggan. But I believe I've done every simple and every intermediate beyond the Spriggan. And I'm going to then move into the advanced section and see what we can do. So I do have a win with a Formicid and a Barachi. I'm going to start up here with a, a Vine Stalker. All right, just at the top of the list and see how we can roll. So if we go Vine Stalker... All right. Um, hey, hey, Key, what is up, my friend? Good evening, how you doing? You know, I meant to ask you, Key. Um, I know that you were bidding on a place, did, and I think you won... You got yourself a new place, is that right? Have you moved yet? Have you finished closing on that deal? Or um, am I mistaken about that? And... Uh, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup tastes delicious, by the way. It's a it's in a flavor profile I keep going back for again and again. I want to list my aptitudes with um, things just to see what a Vine Stalker is even good at, so I can get a sense for what I might want to play. So we're, Vine Stalker is really stealthy. It's terrible at armor, at dodging, and at shields. That's bad. I did, Crispy. It looked delicious. Every time I see your pictures, Crispy, I just get hungry, my friend. I'm telling you, that cookbook needs to come out. So, you're saying, Key, that you closed the deal and you're renting it out for 2300 a month. Does that mean that you purchased property that you're going to be the landlord of, like, as an investment? Okay. Um, so, I'm a bad fighter as a vine stalker, sort of. I mean, I have minus 30% hit points, which is not good either but they do a weird thing where it's like they absorb damage with their magic somehow oh hey Quijin, what is up my friend um can you not hear my microphone is it too quiet i can turn it up my friend hey snack good evening how you doing the music i try to keep pretty quiet Jin, so that might be there. Oh, okay, Snack, thank you. So they have innate guardian spirit. So it's really interesting to see... Snack, do you mind if I ask, what is the typical build that people like to do with Vine Stalker? Just, you know, the vanilla build. Because innate guardian spirit seems like, do I want to play a caster with guardian spirit? Oh, okay, Quijin. Sorry about that. I can turn down um, the music a little bit then, my friend. Hey, hey, nice guy. What is up, my friend? Good to see you. That is awesome, Key. Well, congratulations on that for investing in real estate as a passive source of income. That is awesome. I hope that goes swimmingly and you can build that back up and just get a whole fleet of real estate going. 
Their melee attacks bite with an anti-magic effect, which restores your MP in the process. Interesting. Hey, Fading, good evening. So in that case, it seems like if you're saying it's human levels of adaptability, it looks like I can do whatever I want then with it and not be super concerned, which is kind of interesting. I don't know 100%. Okay. Okay, I like it. I like it. Um, let me see some of their other stuff. And then they have... They just have bad aptitudes across the board fighting. And... Yeah, like you say, human levels. Zero aptitudes at spell casting. Okay. Um, interesting. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Well... Boy, there's a lot to think about here. Um, okay, I'm going to go back. Um, I believe... Yeah. <laughs> Amen, Key. That's awesome. And you can do probably all the HVAC stuff yourself. And I'm sure you have other skills that you can work on to uh, maintain it, save some money on contracting stuff. So you like playing them as fighters. I think I played a Vine Stalker really, really far too um, as a fighter. Don't they get like, do they get some kind of torment resist or negative energy resist or anything? Hey, hey, bloody, what is up my friend? Good evening. Yes, Fading, this is a new run start. I'm going to play as a Vine Stalker. And I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. Oh, okay, they had Rot Resistance, but not anymore. All right. Hmm. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just to start out, I'm going to start with a fighter. And see how they go. And we have bad aptitude with basically everything. And um, I'm just going to carry a flail. Brigand is the replacement for Gladiator, I think. Is that right? Or, or is it the replacement for, for uh, Rogue or whatever? Um, Oh, renamed assassin. That what that's what it is. Never mind, sorry. Yep. I knew it was a replacement of something. They just renamed it. Okay. Oh, geez, key, that sounds Yeah. Then rest, my friend. Relax. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, quickly look at myself. I have extremely sharp teeth. So this is what Snack was talking about. I get a bite attack when hurt. Um, damage is shared between my health and magic reserves. My bite disrupts and absorbs the magic of my enemies. And potions cannot restore my health. Interesting. Okay. Let me look at training then. Um, I'm going to go ahead to uh, manual. And I'm going to turn off armor and shields and we're going to train spell casting fighting and maces and flails for the time being let's see how that goes now i don't know um what i want yet uh oh it's so similar bloody it's got a lot in in common with uh, d and I'm going to move this over here. I'm getting killed by uh, this kobold here, most likely. Okay, we almost died. What did you have, buddy? He, did, he didn't even have anything special. I'm just bad. Oh, my God. Um... There we go. All right. Jeez. Um, the reason I'm... 
doing that fading is because Vine Stalker has innate guardian spirit. So I want to have magic points to give as like an extension of my hit points, basically. So Key, let me explain it to you. The simplest way is um, flails uh, do blunt damage. So their advantage is basically that if you're fighting an enemy like a Hydra, you don't chop off its head. You can fight a Hydra without making it more dangerous. Um, axes attack in a cleaving motion all the way around you, but chop. Swords do not hit AoE, but you have a chance to repost with a sword. And then the different weapon types also have uh, damage and speed and accuracy differences. I like flails just because you can get a lot of defensive flails and they're very good one-handed. And I just wanted to mix it up and not go Axe every single time, even though Axe is really, really strong. And as Snack was saying, early game availability. Like, if you can get a high-powered mace early, you're in great shape. All right, what spells did I just get? Dazzling Flash, Agony, and Silence. Wow, that's pretty hilarious. Hey, Tabby, what is up, my friend? I did not take a break, Tabby. Um, well, two weeks ago, I did take a break, Tabby, because I was ill. And then last week, I played, um, but the VODs got messed up. So I played last week, Tabby, and I will be playing on Wednesday. So it's been a little bit funky with the holidays and the fact I was sick. Morning Star is amazing. Evening Star is beautiful. Yes, and as Snack saying, it's easy to get them. All right. Okay. That's awesome, Tabby. Yes, I am better. Thank you for asking. Oh, we got pain and excruciating wounds if we want to learn necromancy. Yeah, it's a great weapon. Um, in this game, Key, I forgot to tell you about spears. Spears and pole arms, you can actually reach an extra tile away with them in this game, so they're very good for that reason. You can poke your enemies from one square further away so that you can get like a free attack, basically. Very good. The Book of Dreams. They're giving me spellcasting books all over the place. Goodness gracious. We'll have to boost up our... Hey, hey, LJ the One. What is up, my friend? Good to see you. Good evening. Okay, Tabby. Thanks for stopping in. See you Wednesday. Okay. Now, um, this is interesting. So what spells do I have? I have, I've been getting uh, like a bunch of high level necromancy and hexes. Very strange. I could start, um, hey, Leonard, what is up, my friend? Yes, thank you. I am better. And I'm, it's so good to get your health back. God, I was just like, um, so frustrated and run down and tired and now I'm feeling um much better oh wow congratulations bloody I bet that's a huge relief oh you gotta go back to school LJ well, yeah, my class that I'm teaching will start next week as well.
Okay, that's the first floor. Let's see. We got um, a scroll of fear, and we got a scroll of teleportation. Hey, Vale, what is up? Good evening, my friend. I am doing great. Thank you for asking. How you doing? All right. Um, I'm going to then... I'm thinking about taking that altar. I'm not super committed to this character. Um, I don't know if I want to play as a fighter or not with the Vine Stalker. And it's always fun to just, like, get nuts and take the, <laughs> take the unknown altar. It could be really, really bad. This could be a terrible choice. Um, but I'm going to do it. Oh boy, Quaslo. You know what? I'm going to tell you what. I don't think I've ever done Quaslo very far. And Quaslo is not a very strong god, but it should be interesting to try something new that I don't normally do. All right, so what abilities? I'm surrounded by a storm. What in God's name does that even mean? Uh-oh, snack. Oh, that's cool, bloody. I generate harmful clouds around me. Um, and I make noise that goes up with my... So I make... I'm really loud. Okay, that's hilarious. Let's look Look at this. Quaslil Stormbringer is a violent god of tempests who delights in unleashing the forces of nature against the unsuspecting. Well, how are they going to be unsuspecting if I make a lot of noise? Those who invite Quaslil's gaze will find themselves in the eye of a storm of elemental destruction from which only their god can protect them. This is hysterical. Pious worshippers of Quasal will gain the ability to direct and control the destructive might of the storm. I am surrounded by a storm, and me and my allies have immunity to clouds. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, before the, the big noise, they had no idea how powerful nature could be. Look, I, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. One of the greatest things about Dungeon Crawl is the the god system the whole business of deities in this game is just absolutely awesome i am a storm bringer let's go bring them the storm let's see what they think about the storm all right level three now um part of me wants to go intelligence um Vale, this game is called Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, and I just started. I'm I'm just got level three. I'm right at the beginning. I was wondering about that snack. Like I was thinking, do I want to have any kind of spell casting? But maybe not. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just go for a big beefcake. Oh, okay. So you're saying I could just use Quasla as my spell kind of damage and just go strength and be a fighter type? Let's do it. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's right, bloody. Let's bring on the thunderstorm. Look at all these cockroaches. Ooh, they're actually hitting me pretty hard. All right. Let's regenerate. You know what? That's a good point, Fading. Like, if I want to wear armor, I'm going to need to be strong to mitigate the encumbrance rating for my spellcasting anyway. So, it's a good it's a good pickup. Oh, look, I'm making some clouds around me already. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at the clouds. This is so funny. Okay. Watch out. There's a thundercloud right there. Um, I don't think I want a sling, but... Okay, let me see. Do I have anything I want to be using? Um, I've only seen a kite shield, a scale mail, and a robe so far. All right, let's go. Oh, they're going to make some better roaches in point two eight. That's funny. The long-awaited cockroach overhaul. All right, endoplasm. This could be bad. Oh, 
Rad roaches? What, like from Fallout? That's hilarious. <laughs> you know what is so funny, uh, too, about it fading when you think about it? It's just like I'm in a dungeon, and yet I'm controlling the elements and making weather clouds. It's so funny. It's just like, what? Don't worry about it. It's happening. It's... Oh, there's Terrence. Now, Terrence, I don't think I can beat. In le well, I could drink my Might Potion. I don't have a whole lot. Yeah, that's true. As a snack. The shoals are really troubling. Oh, good. Identify. Uh, what do we got? We've got Potions of Curing. Um, and, uh, okay, read, identify on my other potion and its resistance. Hey, Leviathan, what is up, my friend? Oh, I'm sorry you haven't been feeling well. You know what, Leviathan, I have been ill for a, a little bit, too, and I'm getting better, and I know how you feel. It's just going around everywhere. I hope you get better soon, my friend. Oh, you know what, Crispy? I can't wait to play Subnautica Below Zero. Um, because, uh... Is that when I get the regeneration snack? Um, I'm excited to just try that game out. Oh, that's... Yeah. The old cockroach-infested ship. Alright, let's go up then and find a different staircase and... Try to fight Terrence on different terms. Oh, good idea, Fading. Yeah, I can try to use my uh, clouds in that way. Vale, I plan on playing Slime Rancher when um, Slime Rancher 2 comes out. It's supposed to be coming out at some point here, I think. Yes, there is going to be a Slime Rancher 2, and you can bet... I will play it. I love the first one. I can't wait for the second one, actually. Oh. Now, but he heals up too, Snack, right? Or are you saying that I would heal up faster than him, and so I can t use that to my advantage somehow? Okay. Yeah, they're making two, for sure. I bet you'll be able to get um, Bloody to get Slime Rancher 1 for super cheap uh, on sale whenever 2 starts to come out. You can already find it sometimes pretty cheaply on sale. Uh, I'm sorry, Leviathan. Scarf of Harm? Well, man, it's garbage. We don't want that. Um, well, Lesser Beckoning. God, what weird stuff. All right, um... I was hoping that that would have blink in it. It does not. Um, okay. I'm almost to level four, but not quite there. Let me look. Let me see if there's a staircase. Yeah, go down there. Get away from Terrence. Terrence, you don't want any of this, dude. Stop trying to get some of this. I just want to strengthen up. Okay. Okay. There's level four. You begin to heal much more quickly. Okay, so I am a regenerating fool. There we go. Take that. Now, I don't want to use this staircase because Terrence will be right there. I'd like to find another staircase if I could. Wow, that is huge. It's kind of like that. You do smash, grab, rinse, and repeat, except you farm slimes along the way. So, am I... When I have immunity to clouds, does that mean I can step in the clouds that Quaslil makes and I take no damage? Or that I still take damage? All clouds? Okay. 
So I, I just can't get hurt from the clouds that I make, huh? All right. Wow. Okay, that's sweet. Uh-oh. Okay, great. I'm going to turn spellcasting off for a second and just focus. Uh, I'm even going to turn off fighting. I'm just going to focus on my mace for a, for a little bit here just to make sure I can do damage. Yeah, invocations is a better choice. I was just doing it for the MP. Um, hey, hey, Space Cookie Gaming, what is up, my friend? Thank you so much for the stupor sticker. That is awesome. I appreciate that. You're so generous. All right, let's try to... I'm glad you enjoyed uh, the Caves of Cud, Space Cookie. And we're playing some more Dungeon Crawl, having a good time. Hey, Jarl, what is up, my friend? How you doing? You're working out and watching some uh, Dungeon Crawl? I love it. I'll tell you what. Oh, I see. So invocations will give me ma spell points and will help me with Quasl's abilities. That is beautiful. I have upheaval. I don't even know what that does, but um, yeah, let's do that. Jarl, I'm doing great, by the way. Thank you for asking. Upheaval is a nuke. Let's try it. Let me try to... Oh, I see. Now, upheaval won't hit me, right? It just makes a cloud? Let's just see. Oh my god. That guy did not do well. Let's see. <laughs> it made a fireball that just went at that guy. Um, let me see. Calls on the force of forces of nature to blast a small area with magma, ice, wind, or rubble. Wow. Unbelievable. Smite targeted fireball. How good is that? Hey, Jarl, congratulations. That is amazing. Great work. I had very few semesters where I got all A's. That is so hard to do. Man. Uh oh, it's the Kobold Brigand. It's got Curar darts. Okay. We're going to go into invocations immediately, by the way. I don't know if I... Oh, it's coming at me. Or it doesn't see me. Um, let me see if I have any... I don't have anything to invoke. Um, I don't know. He, he probably has heard my clouds. I'm loud. I can go take try to take Terrence, though, to be honest. Let's go beat up on Terrence. Oh, that's cool. Um, bloody. I don't think I've seen the anime called Goblin Slayer. My jam anime for D&D &D was always uh, Record of the Lotus War. All right, Terrence, where you at? Listen to the, the, the powers of nature, Terrence. Terrence. I'm shouting for his attention. Oh, nice. Fading. Terrence, where have you gone? 